Get y'all back. Hang it up with me. Well, I'm on Caddo Lake today. Got out here a little later than I really wanted to. I had a big storm come through last night, so no electricity a lot of places, so I had to buy me some coffee. Because boy, you know a man can't do without his coffee. But anyway, wind is blowing pretty good today. And it is in the middle part of June. And so I'm hoping that this crank bait bite, maybe even spinner bait something moving because the wind's blowing really good. But you know, I may have to go to, you know, that go-to bait. But you're gonna have to hang out with me and see what's going on on the water. Don't go anywhere, because I have a bonus fish for you today, and it is surprising that I even got it in the boat. With that, with that. Yeah! Woo! Come on, talk. Ha! Woo! <laughs> Bam, boys! Oh, my word. Never get the book out of him. There we go. Yes! Woo! Boy! Would you look at that? Bam! Woo! Boy! Talking about Man! That's why you come to the lake every chance you get. Woo! Oh, man, I'm fired up. Thank you, Jesus. Boy, I tell y'all what. This right here, this rod right here, it's first time I fished with it since my dad passed away about a year and a half ago. It's a kiss rod that I got from in the days of first time I ever fished with. Thank you, Jesus. That's what I'm talking about. Yes. That fires me up, yes. Hey, while you're sitting there doing nothing, hit the subscribe button, will ya? Wham, like you do. Woo! Mm. I am ready to go now, son. Woo! Let me tell y'all, here what I caught the old fish on. Boy, I tell you what, the old reliable. The old Senko, which this one's, I call it a Senko, but it's really a Sticko from Bass Pro Shop brand. And let you get a good look at that. Got a little bit of weight on it. Got a little wind going on today, so just a little small weight. And I might be lying to you, but I think that is a, like a 1 16th. I don't like fishing much of weight. I, I still like it to fall relatively slow and so but that's what did the trick on that good one right there Woo! fired up now ready to go get me no well what i want to do i want to show you kind of the scenario where i caught that fish right there you see that little tree right there caught that fish right there off of that tree it kind of forms a little point if you will and as you can see it's wide open there in front of me. Well, there's a lot of wind today and it's coming right through that area right there. And there's a lot of trees here blocking the wind on my right. There's a lot of trees on my left blocking the wind. So anytime you see that when you're out fishing and you got wind blowing through like a little cut through, make sure you fish that pretty hard because more than likely there's probably some fish sitting up on it. 
because it's pushing everything through there, bait fish, and it's creating a little bit of current. And so those bass sit up there and hide, waiting for that, for them fish and them bait fish and stuff to come by. So make sure, don't just run right through there, just fish it a few times, you know, flip up against those trees a couple times. You know, you may have to throw up there three or four times to get that bite. So hopefully the next time you're on the water, you can try that when you find a little cut through, and then you can get that fish to bite. Well, boss, I know you've been there. Get hung up, now you gotta get the bait out. But just wait, and see what happens. Yeah, Jesus, I should have caught that fish. Oh, Ooh, that was hilarious. Oh, my word. <laughs> oh, I tell you what, I shouldn't have caught that fish. I'm telling you. I threw that fish. I mean, not that fish. <laughs> I threw that bait up against that tree where I threw it over a, a limb. And it was hung up. And I was like, well, doggone. So I got up in there as you saw me. And then when I got it off the, the limb, the doggone fish hit it, I guess. <laughs> That's the greatest thing. Ooh, doggone. Thank you, Jesus, though. Bam! Hey, doggone nice two-pound fish for sure. Man, he probably, he might go two and a half, two, two, four, or something like that. I heard that. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> it was kind of fun right there. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. I tell you, that, <laughs> that big fish you saw me catch earlier, now that was awesome. Don't get me wrong. But that one there, that was fun. <laughs> it's let out, slap out fun. Now, I'm throwing a a bait that is called a boss hog, Okeechobee crawl color. And this little bait here is normally a pretty good summertime bait. Caught some decent fish during the summer. Just Texas rigging it. And it is by VM Baits. That's it right there, boss. If you like it, go get you some. Alright, you saw the results. I hope you enjoyed the video today, but if you want to see me catch a bigger fish using the Swamp Hog, you can click on the pop-up on your left. Also can be found in the description. But if you want to hang out a little longer and find out how to start a relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ, you can go to forgive.me or if you are a big time deer or turkey hunter, dude, you might want to go to in the hunt.org.